since I uploaded the first vlog about life as a bikini barista, um, a lot of girls are like intrigued by it and they want to know like what they can do to become one, what steps to take to be like a successful bikini barista. So that is exactly what I'm going to be talking about today. It's just like any other job, like you need a resume and you're going to need some pictures of you. And yeah, I applied to a few different bikini companies until I found the one that I liked the most. And the process was same for all of them. Like, yeah, the resume and then the pictures and then they'll call you in to come do the interview. So just like basic questions. And then they have you do just like a practice run, I guess I would call it. So you're in your bikini and you're there helping the customers and making drinks. So they just want to see like how you interact with people and how you work under pressure. Because sometimes you get like really big lines and you have to like make the drinks really quick. So they just are kind of seeing that. And then once you're hired, obviously you tell them your availability. If you have open availability, you have the potential to work every single day if you really, really want to. That's also the thing that I love about this job is how flexible it is. So at the time when I first applied, I was going to school, so I could only work sometimes like three to four days a week, which I guess is still almost like a full time, but sometimes I had to work less. And this job is like super understanding. Like if you need time off, they will give it to you. And I think that's due to the fact that there are so many girls. So you always have someone that can take over your shift. So yeah, it was really nice because sometimes I had like unexpected things happening at school and I just needed to take the day off after. And I would tell them sometimes like the night before and they'd be totally okay with it and understanding. So that's super nice if you're like going to school or for example now that I'm a mom I'm kind of in that same pickle where sometimes you know sometimes my baby gets sick or something happens where I just need the day off suddenly They're like oh yeah like that's fine just take what you need and so that's another great thing about this industry of how flexible it is like if you have things going on in your life this is like the perfect job because it's not like a regular job at like a big company where you almost feel bad asking for time off you're just like like right you guys know what I'm talking about so in this one you can take like a month off if you want or two weeks a week and then you can be back and everything's normal like, I think most of the girls that work here they're investing in things they're going to school they have families like that ha they have things going on and this job is just perfect because they can work almost minimum hours making way more than they would working a nine-to-five job Monday through Friday half time to work on other projects while still making good money and I think that's amazing because honestly this job is not degrading I guess everybody has their own opinions but I personally don't think it's degrading at all you're just making people happy you're at a coffee stand making drinks while looking really cute um, yeah you're in a bikini you're in sexy outfits it's I don't think there's anything wrong with We're that. In 2020, like grow up, it's it's fine. And then steps to being successful when you're a barista, well, obviously the most important one is gonna be good customer skills and having a good attitude. Like nobody wants to go to a coffee shop and then for the barista just to be like super cranky and rude to you. I've had that happen to me and for some I'm just like, oh my God. I don't tip them at all so yeah some people were saying like you really feel like you're like you're so entitled you think that people need to tip you I know they don't need to and they don't have to I think when you're providing a good service it's only polite to do so so I always make sure I always treat everybody the same when I first meet a customer I make sure I, I give them the best experience that I can offer them like I'm super nice I always make conversation I always try and look really good make them laugh like do something so Obviously when I feel like the conversation's going really good, like we're laughing and having fun and then the transaction's over and they don't tip you anything or like a dollar, you just feel like a little offended. And it doesn't like hurt me for the rest of the day, like it, it really, it doesn't phase me. But I personally just think it's rude because you went through that, like because you were being kind to them and they don't appreciate it, you know, they just feel like she doesn't deserve a tip anyway. So, so yeah, you need a good attitude to work here. Um, it doesn't matter if you're like super beautiful and you make good drinks. Like if you're gonna have a nasty attitude, nobody's gonna wanna come see you anymore. So good attitude means more people will come and see you and you're gonna make more money. So I don't understand why you wouldn't be nice to someone. And apart from a good attitude, you also need like a strong attitude, like be strong-minded. I don't know if that's the word, but you can't let things get to you. Like there's always gonna be something negative Although I would say like in this industry, 95% of the men are like super sweet and respectful, but there's always going to be that small percentage of creeps or like rude people. And I think that's with any industry. 
Actually, the percentage here I think is better than if you work at like an actual retail. I worked um, at a grocery store. I think most of the people were super rude. Like the customers were super entitled there. They just think they can walk all over you and you need to take it. So in this job, it's really nice because basically everyone is super nice to you just giving you compliments all day making you feel good about yourself but like i said there's always going to be like that small percentage of men that are really rude and they might like insult you in some way like say something about your body that's super rude like, it's a very small percentage but sometimes people will say like oh your butt's not big enough oh your boobs not big enough you know just rude comments like who would say that so you just have to learn to be strong and not let it get to you. When I first started working here, I used to be super shy and I would get offended easily and break down if someone would insult me. And two years later working here, if someone says something to me, it does not affect me at all. Like I don't get butt hurt about it. I think this job has helped me be more confident in myself, a stronger character, I guess. I feel like people can tell me whatever and it really just like it goes through my head if you're gonna insult me like I don't really care what your opinion is you definitely need a strong attitude to work here because if you don't that small percentage of people that are mean to you they're just gonna crush you so. and another thing that helps you be more successful in this industry obviously looking cute um, so this job is so fun because you get to invest in yourself like you always get to buy new outfits, get to do your hair, your makeup, your nails, and it's just really nice because it makes you feel good about yourself. And when I say like looking cute and having to dress cute, like you do not have to be a Victoria's Secret model to work here. This industry has girls of all different shapes and sizes, and I think that's amazing because, you know, one or the other people want to be. Not everybody, obviously, but that's like, you know what I mean. Everybody wants to be or super skinny or just like thick with the big butt, small waist, and I would say like I'm just a normal girl. I don't have the super small waist or super or super big butt and hips. I I feel like I'm just like girl next door title. And I still make really good money and I still get people telling me how beautiful I am. Um, obviously, I'm not beautiful to everybody and that is okay. There's just so much variety and men like variety. But yeah, you don't need like plastic surgery or anything to work here. You can be your normal self and still get a job here and make, and make just as much as the other girl that has like that Instagram model look. Confidence, good attitude, that's really all you need. And another thing that's also gonna help is social media. So I make sure I always put pictures and you know, be active on there. I write down my schedule or where I am that very day or like a sneak peek of my outfit of the day so they can come and see me. Or I like message my customers on there and be like, hey, don't forget to see me, I'm at this stand or I'm here at this time. And then people really like that. They like that you're engaging with them and that makes them wanna come see you. So you just have to be really friendly and, and know who to talk to. And obviously it's not part of the job, you don't have to, but that's ultimately gonna help you. And it's gonna help you make more money and ultimately that's what we want, right? Oh, I guess making good drinks. Like some people think like, oh, they just come for, you know, to see the girls and talk to them and you know sometimes they do but a lot of them really do just want their coffee <laughs> so just make sure you do a good job of making it I always make sure like I I give the customers like different options like all your specials of the day like like me usually mine is like a Mexican mocha um, so I've gotten most of my customers hooked on the Mexican mocha or I bring in tajin which is like a spicy chili powder and I'll make like Red Bulls with that and it tastes I guess you wouldn't really know unless you're Mexican or Latino, but it's just it tastes like those fruits with with chili powder. It's really good So yeah, just try and be unique with your drinks so people would come to see you So yeah, I always have my customers like try it before they leave just so that and I let them know like I make them feel comfortable Like if you do not like it, you can tell me like I'm not gonna get offended I can remake your drink I, can. I was also shocked to see that baristas are or bikini baristas are like in so many different states I thought it was only one but apparently it's like Hawaii, Alaska, California, Texas um, I can't even remember the other states, but there are a lot of states that are starting to have these. So yeah, if someone's looking for a business idea in, I don't know, Tennessee or something, I don't know, I'm just trying to name it like a state that I heard it wasn't in. I think that's great, like you could be onto something. So get on the bandwagon before every state has one because this business is growing a lot. Like it's only a matter of time before there are as many bikini baristas as regular baristas I don't know probably not but it wouldn't shock me and I don't think there's anything wrong with it whoever thinks otherwise like that is their opinion they're fine to have it but ultimately we're not hurting anybody we're not hurting society so yeah if you have any other questions on like how to apply or 
what else you can do to be good here um, yeah just let me know if you have something positive to say something negative to say feel free to tell me them like I said like nothing gets to me I've been told just about everything you can imagine so there's not much anything different that I can hear so yeah thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate all the positive comments and I appreciate all the new subscribers and people watching my videos it really it really does make me so happy like I've always wanted to have a YouTube channel and I always and I've had like various ones I just always left it because I don't know something would happen but like I said as a barista I actually have more time and I can do these things that so. is it for today thank you guys for watching wow we're gonna go play arcade games a what arcade games oh they said arcade games and while Enrique does all that I just sit back and relax all your little slaves. Did you fart? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm hiding that shit. <laughs> this cute outfit. He's wearing the black pants that I got him. What else am I wearing here? I actually did get you that sweater too. Oh, you didn't? Yeah, I did. Uh, American Eagle, remember yeah, you were picking sure. it out? And then I was like, yeah, you can buy it. <laughs> Sugar mama. Yeah. Okay, give me that bitch. Hey. But bitch, I'm in the car, not you. You don't oh. fit? No, I don't. Okay. No problems. Oh, I ordered. <laughs> and we're gonna have some fun at home. What are we gonna do? <laughs> we're gonna drink, and then we're gonna like play some board games, and then. We are gonna like talk about our past. We were talking about our past. About our other, our other SOs. What does SO mean? Significant others. You said they weren't significant. They were pretty significant. Oh, you scared me. <laughs>